Hello Team Sagittarius, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back, welcome if you're new. I hope you all are doing safe and you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for all your support with this channel. It's greatly appreciated. So Sag, um, let's get into your reading. Oh, for those of you who are new, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. The energies can go either way, okay? So pick whichever side you're on. It could be reversed. Call it what you will, right? Okay, this will not resonate with every Sag and Crosswatcher on the planet of Sag. Um, so keep that in mind also. Okay, so we're going to start off with the Power of Love cards, okay? All my um, cards links are down below, so check them out. So, Sag... We got patience. You are able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. So what I'm getting with this is that you're losing patience, Sag. I feel you, okay? Um, with my Sag placements, definitely. I want everything then and there. There's no um, ways about it, but... I feel like what you're learning at this time is to be more patient with the situation that you're going through, and it's because your person is not making a move, okay? I feel like your person is stuck. They are stressed out. They are worried, okay? Um, whatever that's going on in their life, that's what it is. You might not know this because they're not expressing it to you, but your person definitely is going through something okay and what the spirit is asking you to do at this time is go with the universal flow this has also of time because time is a human construct so the universe operates differently than what we think it's like oh I want this person you know I want to be married by September I want to you know I want them to you know put a ring on it or whatever whatever it is that you think in your mind about time frames okay the universe doesn't work that way unfortunately like we can't do anything about it it's out of our control so the thing is is that we have to be patient and still live our lives the way that you're supposed to okay um, this also has to do what I'm getting right now is about um karma okay so karma has to play out in someone's life so it's kind of like someone is dealing with a, a karmic um contract right now and this has to do with being patient for that to like play karma will play itself out regardless guys but what I'm getting from you is that it could be either your contract is taking longer to fill or your person's contract, okay? I hope that makes sense for you. If it doesn't, like read up on what karma is, you know. Um, I also do masculine and feminine divine counterpart readings, so pay attention to those. You can learn a lot about karma um, there, okay? And this has to do with joy. You delight in the love of life and bring a spirit of fun to all that you do. So what I'm getting with this energy, Sag, is like you and your person have so much fun, okay? But it got serious. So it's kind of like once you realized you really want this person for something more than just, you know, fun or friendship or call it what you will, okay? No judgments here. I feel like... Um, the idea of being fixated on what the relationship means or a label got in the way of this connection, okay? Take it from your side or your person's side. So what Spirit is asking you to do is just be your fun-loving self because, Sag, that's what, you, that's what we are, right? We're our, we are fun, free spirits, like... You, you kind of got lost in this, that this is not coming through. And therefore, it's like you're kind of punishing yourself with not having fun, not being joyful, your joyful self or your regular like charismatic self. Okay, so spirit is asking you to bring that spirit back. Like don't kill your spirit because 
things are not happening on your time frame, okay? There's things you don't see that are working, okay, in the universe. So bring that spirit back, okay? That message was for me too, man. <laughs> okay, so this is the Illuminati deck. I know, guys, it's hard because most of us are in isolation, are on lockdown, and our lives have changed dramatically, okay? And especially for a Sag to be like, you got to stay home and do nothing. Like, you can't go here, you can't go there, or you got to, you know, put on this whole outfit, uniform, like mask, this and that, because I know in my place where I live, like we got, we got to wear masks when we go out, you know, and I want to wear gloves too. Um, it's just like this whole ordeal of like, you know, changing your clothes. Even if you go to the market, you come back, I'm like changing my, I'm not changing my clothes. I should say I'm putting my, all my clothes in the hamper. You know, we're just being, it's not fun to be super cautious, okay? But it is serious, so we got to be that way, okay? So let's see. Okay. All right. This is interesting. Let's see. Okay. So... This is in the past. So your person, okay, this is what I want to say with this energy. I feel like for some of you, your person kind of left you out in the cold. But it's like they're feeling left out in the cold, okay? This person feels, you know, this is what I want to say. Your person, um, Sag, feels like every time... They, because I feel like this is a very in and out relationship, okay, on and off, you know, in and out. Your person, it's like they, they're the ones who leave you out in the cold by what their behavior is, or maybe they stop talking to you or ignoring you, but they feel that loneliness when you're gone. Oh my God, you know what song I just got? Ain't No Sunshine When You're Gone. Okay, I don't know who sings that song, but... Ain't no sunshine when you're gone. As much as this person, whatever they do to you, they ignore you, they shut you down, or they, you know, whatever it is, leave you out in the cold, Sag, this person feels the same way. They feel lonely. They feel left out in the cold every time they do that to you, okay? So also your person, I have to say, is going through financial issues. I mean, all of us... I should say most of us are struggling right now, okay? And this um, is playing a big part in the issue of um, them and their commitment, okay? So what I feel like is that your person, um, okay, I just got, they can't put a label on this connection the way you want to. So Sag, this is what I want to say. I don't feel like you're normally like that, but with this person you do. It's like maybe you never, like, you didn't really care about marriage or you didn't care about commitment, but with this person, it's like, it's about something that it's like, I just want to be with them. I want to live with them. I want to whatever. And your person here, it's like, they're not ready. You know what's on their mind constantly is that the fact that they feel so alone without you. And the more and more they think about it, it's like it hurts them. And what I'm getting is that they're not financially stable and that really bothers them, okay? They kind of feel very lonely in a sense where it's like, I have to make it on my own and I'm not. And I need to be independent. I need to manifest my own money. So your person could be um, maybe living off of somebody else or they have responsibilities to other people. Like they could have kids. They could have a family that they have to support. There's a lot on their plate and they feel very overwhelmed, okay? And that's why I feel like um, that's what they're focusing on right now, um, besides feeling lonely without you in their life, okay? But that's what's on their mind. If you, 
recently if this person stopped communicating with you or this like communication is like that that's what's on their mind right now i feel like they don't want to analyze that with you okay so it has a lot to do with them not expressing themselves like they don't want you to know all the things that they're going through they're not going to tell you okay and you might want them to be like straight out like oh you know tell me what's really going on but they don't want to speak about it okay it's really bothering them if you're dealing with a man okay if your person is a man what I'm getting is like they don't feel manly enough right now, okay, to speak like that and tell you like, okay, I am not successful, I'm failing at whatever it is, okay, it doesn't matter, but for the whoever that is, I just got somebody's energy saying like, that's not manly for me to tell my person like, I need, like, I'm in a rut. I'm in a financial rut. And, like, I'm I'm drying out my savings. Something like that, okay? That's not going to be for all of you, but, okay. So let's get into the other person's energy. This is a pre-Raphaelite tarot. Hey guys, so this is the um, Queen of Cups, okay? Or this could be the Ace of Cups. I don't know, guys, but this is about a cup, okay? <laughs> um, so what I'm getting for this is like you've been holding a space for this person regardless. It's like you understand what situation they're in. This is a general reading, right? You know, it's not personal. So you know whatever your person is going through, you know that um, they're not where they want to be in life at all. They feel stuck, they feel low, they could be going through some type of depression. But what I'm seeing here is that you're still holding a space for them, you care for them a lot, you love this person. For some of you, you really love this person, you might not know it yourself, but it's like you got love for them, okay, somehow, some way, and... What I'm feeling is like you've been, you think you've been too understanding with this person all this time. Like I'm too understanding. I'm always forgiving them. I'm always, why do I always have to be the bigger person? That's what you're say, telling yourself. Why do I always have to understand their situation? Why can't they understand mine and where I'm coming from? Okay, Sag? And you just want to start new. It's like you want to put things behind you want to take a leap of faith on this person regardless. It could be like this person did things in the past where you didn't trust them or they lost trust. I mean, you lost trust in them. But what I feel is like you want to start new, okay? You want to start new, but, and there's this but. You want to start a new journey with this person because you believe that you both can make it work together, okay? You have faith that it will work out if you both start new but the thing is is that this is um the justice card okay so what you're feeling is like there has to be an ending of a another commitment so this could be an obligation this person has to their family, their kids, or something like that, okay? Or it could be that this person is married for a few of you. It's like, we can't move this forward until this person gets out of that. And this also has to do with a contract. This is karma, okay? Your person, you're well aware that your person has been stuck in a situation for a long time and you know it has to do with karma because you're like, there's no other way. How could they be so stuck in this situation for such a long time? You could have been friends with this person before. 
like you could have known them before you started seeing each other and like um, romantically I want to say this could have been someone that like you knew of or something for some of you is what I'm picking up on so you you're just losing patience of waiting for them to get out of the situation and you're also thinking, do they see it the way I do? Because we got the eye, the all-seeing eye. That's the eye of providence. And you're thinking, do they see how stuck they are in their situation? Like, I see how they're stuck. Regardless, Sag, if this is you on this side, you're like, this person has to end this contract. And you're losing patience because you're like, when is this going to be over? Okay. Um, I'm. Am I wasting time? You know, maybe they'll never come around. You know, Libra got something similar. If you have Libra placements or your person does, if you know or not, um, watch the Libra reading, okay? But it doesn't have to be, guys. I don't like to call out signs because that's really not important. All of us have, like, at least an average of seven sign placements in each natal chart, okay? So pay attention to the energy. It's like you know your person's stuck. You know your person's been stuck for a long time in whatever situation that they've been in. And you're losing patience even though you have faith. You do have faith that you both can make it work. But the time frame is like annoying you. Okay? And the label is annoying you too. So it could be your person has made it obvious to you that like, hey, um, I do want a commitment. Like they are like a commitment person. Even though, like, you can see them in a commitment is what I want to say. But I feel like when it comes to whatever it is, it's like they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to talk about the commitment. They don't want to talk about the seriousness. Because what they're doing is they're focusing on their obligations. And I feel like, yeah. Yep. There is definitely. There is some. There is some. See, your person, okay, there's people keeping you both apart. There is things that you don't know. And your person, it's like they can't tell you the specifics of it because they might think like it could hurt you, Sag. So it could be there's somebody eating this person's head that... Like, they're, Sag is not right for you. Sag is not this. They're not that. They're this. They're that. Like, there's some kind of bad, bad, like, name, like, name calling, like, throwing names out or something like that is what I'm getting. So, your person is not telling you this. It's like, they want to tell you, but they're not. So what I'm getting is that this person is so, they've been holding on to this for a long time. It's like they want to tell you, but they don't. There could also be a rumor going on around, I mean, about you, Sag. And this person, it's like, they, um, they're, it's like, they don't want to keep it inside, but it hurts them, okay? That's what I want to say. It hurts them. Um, this could be family or whoever they're obligated to, okay? So you know your situation. But anyhow, this also has to do with this person um, that needs to heal the ego, their ego self, okay? Where it's like they have to um, heal that part of them that can't handle the interference okay they can't handle the interference there's there's some kind of drama that i'm picking up on okay so let's go back to the other person Ooh, okay so, you're just thinking to yourself, okay, we just got to, you know, close this out, this fun that we had, this, you know, coming together or whatever. Maybe it's not ever going to happen. Um, like, seeing each other, too, is what I'm getting. 
um, I don't know if your person is supposed to travel to you or you're supposed to travel to them, or it's like you made a date in the future of when you'll see each other. And you're, I feel like you're still holding on to that, okay, for some of you. Like, are we ever going to see, am I ever going to see you again? Like, that kind of energy. Because I feel like your person is going through some type of... I don't know why I got initiation. Initiation is what I'm getting with this card. Oh, okay. Protection. Okay, protection. That's good. So this is you. It's like, regardless, you still are. This is the Ace of Pentacles. This is still. I feel like you're following your guides, Sag. Like your ancestors, your spirit guides, whoever, your angels, you're working with them and you know that. Whatever it is that's going to happen is going to bring you some balance and stability. And you're also working, I have to say, there's some kind of opportunity coming your way. And it's a great opportunity. It could be related to work or business. Okay. Um, I like to mix everything in these readings. But that's what I'm getting for some of you. But there is a promise that I feel like you will get. But the thing is that some of you are having issues with letting the past go. And it could be like whatever was in the past, however your connection was, you have to let that part go. Okay. In order to um, get the new. So it this also has to do with balance. Like it has to do with labels is what I'm getting. I'm going to pull one more card for the first person because I'm being asked to. Oh my God. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This person is in love with you. Okay. It's like they might have not expressed it to you, but they have a lot of love. They care about you a lot, but I have to say this person is trying to be spiritually strong when it comes to whatever hindrances that they're going through right now this this is karma okay this definitely is a car karma like whoever they have karma with that they have to deal with it's just that they yeah this person loves you L listen sad i know it's gonna be weird and cliche but even if your person is not talking to you so much right now or not telling you how they feel they're being emotionally closed off they're feeling so much inside they don't even know what to say and they're really sad that these things are keeping them from being with you okay and they're it's like they're going through a battle like an inner battle that i'm seeing it's not only outer battle with the whoever this is right people stay out of people's oh, I think we got this before for you, Sag. That could be your karma. You do know that if you're a Sag rising, ascendant, some people call it rising, some people call it ascendant, you'll, you'll have issues with um, your in-laws or your, you know, your in-law family, whatever you call it. You know, your person's family, okay? That is, that is evident, okay? So... Um, yeah, this person loves you regardless. No, near or far, they love you. Okay. That sounded like the Titanic song. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm going to pull the crystal angels card. I'm getting so many romantic songs right now that it's like your person is not, I don't feel like your person's romantic, Sag but they're, they're romantic to themselves. Like, they don't tell you how they really feel. Like, the love they have for you, it's like they keep it to themselves. They don't, they don't express how much they love you. Okay, yeah, see? 
let yourself opal. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. So some of you are asked to bring back your spirit, like I said, right? So bring a spirit back in all that you do. I feel this has to do with passion too, um, Sag. You're focusing so much on the time of this panning out in your life to manifesting that you're not... Um, you're not having fun. You're not shining like you normally do. Like, you know what I mean? So bring that back. Okay. I'm going to pull one more for you. We're running out of time, but I'm going to pull one more. Okay. Yes. Aquamarine. Divine life purpose. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. Okay. Okay. So this is about your guides right now are trying to guide you into something that will make you sparkle and shine. This could be your job, your career. Maybe you're asked to transform your career or what you're doing for like your job or whatever. Some people are right now, but focus on your passions and what you love to do and what brings you joy. Okay. Sag, I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you already haven't. Hit the notification bell to, you know, turn on all notifications if you already have not. I wish you all the best and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.